All right, welcome. So we're going to finish this up. So this is chapter 14. Uh, we're, at, we're on exercise 9 is where we're at. And so let's do exercise 9, and then we have a problem set to walk through as well. And hopefully that will um, help you wrap everything up. Okay, so let's get uh, exercise 9 up here. Okay, so exercise 9 is using... Um, we're doing bond computations, we're doing amortization, and we're also doing bond retirement. So this is the whole deal for bonds anyways. Okay. Um, all right. So what we need to do here is we need to, at the very beginning, we need to put our par value up here. So that's that's number one on this one is figuring out what the cash proceeds are going to be. So uh, cash proceeds are going to be our uh, par value, right, of seven hundred thousand dollars. And I might have put an extra zero in there. I did. We'll get rid of that extra zero here real quick. Okay, so seven hundred thousand dollars par value, and our um, discount in this case it's going to be a discount uh, percentage which is 97 uh, and three quarters okay. this is going to be uh, 97.75 right ninety seven seven five come so there we are Let's make it a percentage. It's really this is the way that they are laid out. They're really percentages, is what is what the discount, uh, bond or premium, um, market prices are, right? Okay. So this is the selling. This is the initial selling price. We we have a buying price at the end too, but we'll. We'll worry about that later. So this one is the 700,000 times our rate here, which gives us our um, uh, cash proceeds. Okay, so this is going to be the first answer. Okay, right? And that's how you get to it. Okay, the second one is, <clears throat> is going to be what is the discount? Okay, so again, we're going we're gonna to take our par value uh, let's just copy it from here. Okay, here's our par value, right? And here is our uh, cash issue price. It's going to be this. There we go. Okay, and that's going to that's going to give us our discount. So discount on bond. Okay, that's going to be our par value minus our cash. All right, so that's really the um, <clears throat> second answer there to this deal. All righty, so now number three. <clears throat> Number three, it's asking how much amortization of the discount is recorded on the bonds for the entire period of January 2015 through January or through December 31st, 2020. Okay, so that so that's the first. Uh, uh, let's see. So the first six years, uh, okay, is basically what it's going to be. So that's going to be 40% of the total, right? So the total amount of the bonds is 15 years, okay? And so this amount that they're talking about here is actually six years is what it is, six years total. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, right? Those are six years. So if you count them out uh, on your fingers, you'll be able to see that, right? Okay, and so what we're going to use here is we're going to say... Um, uh, our percent of total 
And so that's going to be uh, equals 6 years divided by 15. Uh, we got to get our percentage here. Boom, there it is. Okay. Oops. Boom, there it is. <laughs> All right, so it's 40%. And so then we're going to say 40% of the discount is going to be that. That's how much we're going to use during the first uh, six years. Okay. So uh, we already have our discount calculated up there. So we're going to put this as um, so uh, discount. Amortized for first six years. It's going to be, let's see, it's going to equal uh, this times the 40%, right? So it'll be 40% of it, and there you go. There's your answer. Okay, now number four. Okay, so number four is we're going to uh, answer the question, what is the carrying book value of the bonds as of the close of business on December 31st, 2000, uh, 2020? December 31st, 2020. What is the carrying value of uh, the 20% soon-to-be-retired bonds on this same date? Okay, so, so what we've got to calculate here is uh, what the carrying book value is. So the carrying book value is basically uh, the par value minus any remaining discount that we haven't used yet, right? So we know, we know the discount that we've used so far, the discount, which is not spelled that way, spelled this way, there we go. Okay, so uh, what we've got here is uh, so we've got our uh, discount at issuance. So when we first issued, right, that was our discount. Okay. And then we've got our <clears throat> we're going to do less amortization okay so our, our discount at issuance is that amount okay we amortize that amount so then we have a remaining discount discount so our remaining discount is this minus that all right so that's our remaining discount okay so now what we need to do is we need to figure out what our carrying value is all right so carrying value is uh, our so so we're, the discount was lower than par right and so we're slowly building back up to par is what we're doing with as we amortize the discount and so our par So our part, well, let's just take this here. Okay, so there's our par value. And we've got our uh, remaining discount here. Okay, so we've got our remaining discount. And that is, um, and we're going to less our remaining discount. Okay, we're going to subtract it out because that's the part we haven't added back in yet. Okay, so these are contra is what they are. Discount is contra. Uh, when we do a bond premium, that is what's called an adjunct. It means you add it to it. You adjunct, you add to. Dis uh, contra, you take away from a balance. So our remaining discount is actually going to take away 
uh, from that par value, which gives us carrying value. Okay, so we're going to say the par value minus remaining discount equals our carrying value. All right, so now now we they want us to figure out the 20%. Uh, so there's 20% um, of the bonds we're going to retire. So what we need to do is we need to apply 20% uh, to all these numbers to figure out. Uh, basically, just take that chunk, right? So we're going to we're going to do uh, let's do it like this: 20% of bonds. Okay, there we go. And so it's going to equal that times 0.2, okay, that's going to equal that times 0.2, and it's going to equal that times 0.2. All right, there we go. So that is uh, our carrying value for the 20% of the bonds. So now we're going to be um, figuring out how much the company uh, that paid to purchase the bonds that it retired. So how much did the company pay on January 1st to purchase the bonds that it retired? Okay, so we're purchasing them from our investors, right? They hold the bonds, so we have to buy them back so we don't owe them anymore. Okay, so that's kind of what's happening here. And so this is going to be number five. We're going to keep cruising. This one's kind of a big one here. Okay. So um, it's going to be our par value. So this is how the, it's all constructed here. I'll just show you. It's 700,000. 700, okay. That's our par value times our uh, 20%, okay, point two, or I can just do 20% here, just to make it stand out. So 20% of the bonds we're selling, okay, so that's what they are. We're selling them at 104.5%, okay, of their par value, okay. And so that's going to give us uh, the total of how much we, we sold them for, which is actually going to be 146 point, uh, $146,300. Okay, so the next one, number six here, is going to be what is the amount of the recorded gain or loss from retiring the bonds? <clears throat> did we gain something or did we lose something? <clears throat> so our carrying value was here, right? <clears throat> this is how much we received. Okay. <clears throat> so how much... <clears throat> so uh, this is not how much we received. I'm sorry. This is how much we paid, right? We paid that. That's how much they were. the carrying value was. So we lost money on the deal. Right, we paid way more than they were worth. Is the idea? So, our cash paid is going to equal the uh, one forty six three hundred. Okay, the uh, carrying value value is going to be. that right so we're going to do then that'll c calculate our loss loss on retirement uh, it's going to be that minus this boom there's our loss so that's how much we lost from retiring the bonds all right number seven last one all right number seven number seven so now we get to do, uh, prepare the journal entry to record the bond retirement. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty pretty easy. So we're gonna have our account here. 
And then we're going to have our debit and our credit. Okay. So when we retire a bond, we reduce the liability, right? So this is uh, bonds payable that we're reducing. We reduce that by uh, we reduce that by the uh, par value, right? So the par value of these bonds, the 20% bonds, are, is up here, right? So that's 20% of, of the par value, right? So that's our par value. And so we're reducing our liability by that much. Okay. And we uh, are paying cash out. We're also uh, getting rid of any of the remaining discount on the bond, and we're recording a loss. So let's let's deal with the loss next. That's going to be our next debit. So loss on retirement. All right. So we know what that is. It's right there. Boom. And then our credits here. We have some discount remaining. So we're going to get rid of that. So this count on bonds is going to be this amount up here, right? This is our discount we calculated. And there's our cash out the door since we, we purchased the bonds. Okay, so we, we bought them for that much. So that's what that's what it looks like there. Okay, so that's the journal entry, and then it's going to be uh, to record the retirement of bonds. This is going to be our description. All righty, so let's flip real quick here to our um, problem set. All right, problem set 2A is what we're going to be doing. 2A. So we've got Hillside. They issue a bunch of bonds. Uh, they're going to um, issue them at a discount. Uh, they're paying interest in my annually, and we're supposed to prepare a bunch of different things for this. Okay. So uh, to to begin with, we're actually going to be doing the uh, initial uh, journal entry, right? So the initial journal entry is the amount of cash we received. So bonds are issued at a price of blank, right? So right there it's three million four hundred and fifty six thousand four hundred and forty eight. Okay, so that's the cash. The bonds payable are actually worth four million. Right? Whoops, got that wrong. Four million. One, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. So that's the four million. So the difference then is going to be our discount, right? Okay. So that's really the one you calculate. So that's the one you get the feedback on. Okay. So the next one that we have to calculate here is a uh, cash payment that we make every year. So that's going to be our par value times the interest, which is six percent. Okay. And we're, we're doing it semi-annual, right, is, is what it is. Yep. And so we're going to do it, um, we're going to divide all that by 2. And that will give us our cash payment, which is 120,000 uh, bucks. Okay. Straight line account uh, amortization, discount amortization. Basically what you do is you take your discount here, you divide it by the total amount of period. So we got a 15 year bond, semi-annual payments. So that's 30 periods, 30 periods of payment here. And so we're going to take our uh, discount divided by 30. Okay. And so we're, we're able to figure out with these first two numbers, how much the bond interest expense is. So our bond interest expense is our cash payment 
plus our uh, amortization of discount. All right. So we're going to cruise down to part three here. Uh, so we're, we're going to have to, f we're, we're filling all this in here. So uh, 30 payments of 120,000. So that's that's pretty easy. We can actually plug that in here. 120,000, one, two, three times 30, right? So there we are. <clears throat> Par value at maturity. There's our 4 million. Uh, that equals the total amount repaid, right? So these two added together. Okay, less amount borrowed. Uh, that's the cash that we received at the beginning, so that's going to be right there. Okay, total bond interest expense equals this minus that, right? What we repaid minus anything we borrowed. That's the cost of uh, money that we borrowed. Uh, so another way to do it here is our uh, we're just going down through the, the 30 payments uh, plus our discount. Our discount in this case is, well, we calculated up here, right? Right there. Total bond interest equals all of our payments plus our discount. So that's, that's definitely the easier way to go, right? <laughs> All right, so what we're doing here is we've got our carrying value off at the get-go. So our carrying value is uh, uh, the amount that we paid. Our discount period um, is, or our discount here is up here, right? That's what we calculated. So that's what we start with. Now we need to amortize, okay? And so we're going to be amortizing by uh, the amortization amount. Okay, for each period. So we, we calculated that up here, right? Straight line amortization, right there, $18,118.40. So we need to subtract that uh, from our, our balance here. We need to amortize or reduce our balance by that amount. Okay, got it? And so, so we're going to take this and we're going to subtract out our amortization. We can hit F4 to make it... Uh, so we can drag it down. Okay. So here we go. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. Except this time, because it's a discount, we did last time with a premium. This time, because it's a discount, we're going to be adding it on. So we're increasing the discount value up to par value. So just know that whenever you're, di you're doing amortization on a bond this way, you're heading towards par value is what you're doing with the carrying value. Your carrying value is getting closer. So if it's a premium, it's reducing. If it's a discount, it's increasing. Okay. So we've got uh, this, and it's going to be um, added. We're going to add on our uh, straight line discount right up there. We can hit F4. So we can drag this down. Oh, that's not working. Uh, uh, that is correct. Uh, it just must not be... Um, that's correct. It's just rounding is the problem I think we're running into here. That's exactly the problem we're running into. Uh, let's test this out just to make sure. So let's just type this in here. Three, four, seven, four, five, six, six. Yeah, it's just a rounding error. So if you come up with that, I'll, I'll take a look at it. But you can drag it down, not a problem. Or you can key it back in to get your correct numbers. So those are the correct numbers on there. Uh, not a problem. So now we're now the very last thing we're doing is we're preparing journal entries to record the first two interest payments. So uh, it, it's pretty pretty straightforward because we know what the interest uh, payment is, right? So we go up to here. Here we go. So we know what our cash payment is. We know what straight line uh, amortization is. We know what our bond interest expense is. So these are the numbers that we're going to use right here to plug into these. Okay. So we, our bond interest expense is, go back up here, right there. And our discount bonds on bonds payable is going to be right there. And our uh, cash is going to be 120. There we go. 
So that's that, and uh, these should be the same. So we can actually uh, just copy these down here. Uh -huh. There we go. Oops, that didn't go right. Okay, there we go. So I just copy those down. All right, and there we go. There you have it. Uh, hopefully this starts making sense. The more you, the more stuff you do, and the more pieces you put together, hopefully it'll start making more sense for you. Um, it definitely is, you know, just just the concepts of what's happening is kind of most important. So, um, so when we get back together. Uh, we'll briefly go over this and maybe just solidify some of the concepts and then move forward with uh, chapter 15. Hope that works. If you have any problems, send me an email. Uh, let me know. Thanks. Bye.